morning, FHS, and welcome to this week's edition of the Sabre Roar. I'm Tyler. And I'm Marissa. Can you guess who this teacher is? Stay tuned to find out. Although we're reaching the end of the year, there's still a few staff members around FHS that you might not know all too well. I've been a school counselor for 11 years. I spent the last 11 years in the Phoenix area at an elementary school. My opinion of Franklin High School is that it's a very friendly place. I'm really excited to be here and I'm excited to have the opportunity to get to know the students a little bit better in the next few years. And now my hobbies entail a lot of Mickey Mouse and Paw Patrol and snacks, but eventually I'd like to get back to the outdoors. As a student, when I was a kid, I took tap and clog lessons. These are the with the big skirts and the, the hoedowns and those kinds of things. So I'm a bit of a talented clog dancer. Catch her in the student services office if you want to meet with her. Now let's hear from Mr. Wassmiller, an English teacher with a knack for good books. I am Mr. Wassmiller, and I am talking about The Absolutely True Diary of a Part-Time Indian by Sherman Alexie. In the novel, we have our main character, Junior. He grows up in a small reservation to a very poor family that lives in a very poor community. But they are Native American, so they uh, survive as a tribe and people don't usually leave. One day, Junior decides that he doesn't want to grow up and die in the reservation, so he heads off to a very rich high school to get a better education, where he is not accepted there either. So he is a part-time Indian because he neither fits in his reservation nor does he fit in at the new high school. One of the main reasons why I love this book so much is there's something that everyone can connect to, whether it be the character of Junior, the problems that he's going through, there's funny pictures, he's hilarious. I would recommend this book to absolutely everyone. And as Atticus Finch said, you don't really know a person until you walk around in their skin, and I think that this book does that, so that's why this book is so great. Hopefully these suggestions will hold you over for the summer. This year, the boys lacrosse team looks to find success with the help of a new coach. The Franklin Sabres lacrosse team is off to a great start this season, sitting at 7-2, led by new coach, Coach Deal. Uh, it's my seventh year coaching at high school level in Wisconsin. Short term and long term as part of the program, goals are to you know build a consistent winner here at Franklin and be in contention for the state title every year. For a championship sports team, besides the obvious, having talent and athletic ability, uh, having good leadership, um, something we've been lucky to have so far this year as a, as a varsity team here at Franklin, but having, having guys on the team that will step up and lead so it's not constantly coaches yelling and um, you know, teammates holding each other accountable makes a, goes a long way to building a championship team. Um, years to come, the Franklin lacrosse can consistently be a state championship contender. There's great facilities and uh, school support here, and with the uh, as established as this athletic program is, we get a lot of solid athletes that, as they learn the game, can compete with anybody here in the state. Come see the lacrosse team in action at home this Thursday. On the Sabre Roar, we often highlight the hard work of other students, but this week we've decided to highlight the accomplishments of the young filmmakers in our TV Tech program. Over this past year, students in TV tech classes have won a multitude of different awards. Over the last few years, we've entered a number of film contests and film festivals, and the students have done really well. At the Milwaukee Film U Show, the students always get something in, and this year they had about seven or eight students who had a number of films in, and they actually had a Franklin section to the film festival, which was really cool. So it was a really neat experience, and we all got to go up on stage and talk about our films afterwards and explain a little bit about the motives behind what we filmed. And it was really awesome seeing into other filmmakers' insights and thoughts. Another award that was won this year is from The Greatest Save. The Greatest Save is about Keeping Kids Safe, and Sam Pike and Griffin Anderson won for their PSA. The students also won awards from the Midwest Media Educators Association, and we won, um, Tasha Kappas won second place for her PSA, and we also won 
third place for one of the Saber Roar episodes, which was really great, and Aaron Hamilton won that one. Recently, recently we returned from the National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences Chicago Awards, and this year we won a crystal pillar for Fresh Prince of Franklin, and that's with Tara on Par TV, and we also won a crystal pillar for Kirsten's stop motion, which was really awesome. Congratulations to all the filmmakers for their hard work this year. Here are a few more students working hard to make FHS great. This student showed great responsibility as she prepared for our last seventh exam. She took ownership of her own learning on homework and review problems, and she took the initiative to come in after school the day before the assessment, knowing what questions she needed to ask to be successful. Her work ethic paid off, and she did excellent on the exam. Congratulations, Tina Henney. Nice work. So did you guess who the baby was? That's all we have for this week's edition of the Saber Roar. I'm Tyler. And I'm Marissa. Why can't you have a nose that's 12 inches long? Why? Because then it'd be a foot. Have a great week, Franklin. I love that. Woo!